All right, welcome to my March 26th live item shop review video. So I'm super late to this item shop, but this could be the best one that we've seen in months. There's a lot of new stuff. It's all good. Let's take a look. First up is the brand new Nike skins. I did a full game plan review on all of this stuff. I am delighted to see that my favorite part, the emote, is sold separately. So it does cost 500, but this was like I said, without a doubt, the best part of the bundle. I love this emote. It's so fun. So the skins, I think, are hit or miss. Some people love them, some people hate them. I was kind of indifferent on them. I do like the Lego one of Air Forian. Let's see if we can get it to show up right there. Yeah, look at that. He's so cool looking. I love that. The Eclipse Lego is just okay. Now, Eclipse herself, she has two styles, a day and a night style. She's got this unique animation where these, I think they're stickers, they just come flying out of her head. It's a little distracting, but like I said, it's unique. And then Airforian looks like Baymax from Big Hero 6, especially with this one right here. Look at that. And then he's got the laser orange. So the price for this, oh, look, it says free. It's not free. It's only free because I don't have the loading screen. That's a cool loading screen, too. I really enjoyed the back bling as well, even though he doesn't do anything. I was kind of hoping he'd be reactive. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this for free. There it is. The maxed out portal. Nice. So the bundle itself is 2,500. Individually, it's 1,500 for both skins if you want those. And as we saw, the emote is 500 and the pickaxe is 800. I didn't really like the pickaxe though. It's got a nice splash and a nice contrail, but it's just a hodgepodge of colors. Then we got the Easter section, spring into action. I love egg drop scoop. This one's fun. I rock this on my bun bun combo. So he picks up an egg, ooh, piece of candy. Puts it back in, oh, fell right through. Ooh, piece of candy. Puts it back in. Oh, fell right through. Fun stuff. Bunny bundles back. That's Babbitt and Bunya and Whiska and Hopscotch and CC. Best part about these, the names, for sure. So you can customize it with the hood down or default. So uh, if you like rabbit skins, you can get one of these. The Spring Breaker is literally a springy rabbit. And then we got Bunzy. He's a ammo wielding bunny cool hopper bundles back that's hopper and the bold bar if you buy the bundle obviously you get everything included the bold bar is actually really clean 1700 for this there's the lego version as well and then look at this the golden king bundle ascendant midas plus the golden touch pickaxe plus the golden ascension wrap wow so it looks like it's 2500 for the entire bundle. My son Jack said he wanted it, so I'm gonna go ahead and gift it to him. 2,500. So the skin itself has a secondary style called Shade, and it's this really creepy shadow secret of the ooze effect, but look at that, the reactivity turns him from the shade fully gold. How awesome is that? Now, I think he still has the same effect without the shade let's see if it shows it gradually overtake him yep so you can get a fully gold midas i'm assuming it's based on eliminations but i'll have to test that out looks really really clean look at that amazing the fact that it also works on the green version is just perfect and if you don't like the reactivity you can turn it off you can have the fully green version or the normal ascendant midas i'm assuming the back bling works the same way let's just take a look we're gonna turn it the green color and see if it overtakes it so it looks like maybe one kill does that. Two eliminations does that. Would it be three in total? Yeah, so three. That's not too shabby. And then the pickaxe is golden all the way to begin with. Or you can do shade all the way to begin with. Hmm. Now I'm assuming that if you pick up a weapon with Midas, that it's going to turn gold. But again, I'd have to test that out. And of course, they can't bring Midas back without Aurelia and Oro making a return. Tributes Flail as well, plus the Skelon Glider. Solid gold. We got the Electro Shuffle and the Silence's Golden Bundle. This just came out this morning. The Dynamic Hush. She also has, speaking of gold, a secondary gold style. Look at that. It looks more mustardy yellow. Like I said, this shop is absolutely amazing. To round it out, we got Jawbreaker making a return. The Chaos Scythe in its goopy goodness there. The Ultra Scythe. Wait, what's the secondary style on that? Oops, push the wrong button. Oh, no glow and glow. Okay. The Dollar General Die Hard skin Flatfoot and then the Dollar General Saiyan Scouter skin Terra. I actually like this one. I love that Scouter. Pretty cool. 
the Nevermore bundles back. That's Raven, Ravage, there she is, the Iron Beak, and the Feathered Flyer. And of course, if you buy Ravage or the entire bundle, you get the Contrail called Dark Feathers. That's the only way to get it, buying Ravage or the bundle. True Heart is back. That's an oldie but goldie. Triggerfish Bundle is also back. Solid backbling. Coral Commandos, they literally sing upon getting an elimination. Bubble Flage is a great rep as well. I use that on a lot of the camo skins. Pretty sweet. Sir Sank's Locker Bundle is also still here, as is the Radiant Moon Bundle. Looks like they took Cypher PK out, though. So wait a minute. How did I get down to the bottom already? What happened to the cars? I think the item shop switched on me because this was on the top when I started. And now the special offers tab's on the top. What the heck? We still got the new Gear for Festival stuff, including Roll Up. This will demonstrate your drums in a real match, which is pretty cool. Lady Gaga, the jam tracks are all still here. We get new ones this Thursday. And here's the Start Your Engine. So we got the McLaren back. That's solid. The Masamune bundle is still here. That was here this morning as well. We got the Magic Missile Boost, the Ion Boost, Santa Fe Wheels, and then the Lego stuff, which of course only works in Legos, Durberger. Okay, that's the end of the shop. So I don't know why it changed in the middle of my review. That's kind of weird. Never seen that happen before. Well, there you go. Like I said, one of the best item shops we've had in a long, long time. Brand new Nike skins followed by the awesome Golden King bundle. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time.